It's a beautiful day, 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 day. Welcome back to the channel, folks. Keith here from Commander Hoop Celtic. If this is your first time coming across the channel, if you could subscribe, thumbs up, or a comment below would be really appreciated. Jeez, it's great having that exciting feeling in your stomach again, isn't it? What a roller coaster of a season, folks. As I said at the start of the season, we're up for highs, we're up for lows, we're up for a few moans, and we're up for feelings like this where you know what? The league is coming back. What a result today. Celtic 3, Livingston 1. After 15 years of playing Livy on that Astro pitch and getting draws there and losing there, it's finally over. And it's finally over. And the fashion we've done it today was unbelievable. That's champions material there. That is one of the biggest away wins this season. One of the biggest victories this season for Celtic. You go, to, you go to back to Aberdeen when Jota got us the winner there back in October. You go to Hibs back in October as well. There were massive wins, but this is even better because we are eight games away from winning the title. Now, it's up to Cel it's in Celtic's hands. Three points clear, two derbies to go. But what a performance today by every single player on that park. No one had a bad performance. You know, the only thing I would say is the way that we gave away the goal after scoring the tour goal, the way we gave away the goal for Livingston, awful defender. But let's talk about the penalty. You know, Colin McGregor unfortunately didn't convert the penalty. They saved it onto the post. And then two minutes later, we got a corner. There was controversy saying it shouldn't have been a corner. It um, hit off Ralston last. But you know what? Look at the amount of teams that get penalties. There shouldn't be penalties in the league. You know, look at the corruption in Scottish football with the referees. So, you can you can moan all you want about it. But simple as that. The better team turned up the day. And then the corner was crossed in. And days of Maeda. Back post. See you later mate. And he scored. He scored. I'm delighted for him. As I said on the channel all week. I think a lot. I think a few fans have been. Being a bit hard on him. He's up to playing a full season. Still scoring goals. And I'm delighted for him today. He had an outstanding game. You know, he really did have an outstanding game. Chased everything down. Everything. And that's the work that you like to see from a player that's eager, enthusiastic, that wants to start every game and score. And you know what? I'm delighted from James Forrest. What a performance by James Forrest today. I have been harsh on James Forrest in recent times. I'll put my hand up and admit it, that he hasn't been the player that he was, once was, you know, but turned up today. And if you can turn up for the rest of the season, all the criticism will be forgotten. Will be forgotten. I'm not expecting perfection from James Forrest, but I'll tell you one thing. He took it today, and his goal, the tour goal in the game for Celtic, was absolutely unbelievable. Cutting in the left flank, and then finishing nice. Very similar to Callum McGregor's goal against St. Mary the other night, but he had an outstanding game, James. He really, he really did look clinical on that right wing, and I'm delighted from. I'm delighted from. There was question marks over him starting today, and you know what? He was. He wouldn't be in my first choice for starting right wing. As I said last night, maybe Jota are playing a battle there, but James E. Forrest, you have to give him the marks that he deserves it. Unbelievable, but you know Jota had a really good game on the left. You know, I like even the midfield near Beaton just cruise control that that midfield. And Chris Chris Sutton said it. You know, deserves the praise. And I said it in the last week. Beaton has to start against Livy. And he did. And not one step wrong. One step wrong, he was outstanding. Outstanding. And the last 10 minutes, he got the captain of the team to victory. Callum came off, but for the Tate, even the subs made a difference. Jack and Mac has put pressure on them as well. You know, even Taylor. Taylor was outstanding today. Another another um, well-deserved performance by, by Taylor. You know, Ralston played quite well. Carter Vickers and Starfelt. Starfelt got really stuck in today. Very proud of him. Joe Hart pulled off some crack and save, especially in the first half. They almost scored from a set piece, and he pulled off a crack and save. And then towards the end, another crack and save. But this is a massive win, folks. Like this, could, I hope we will be saying at the end of May, like that victory there was a massive statement that Celtic can go on and do this. And I hope so. I hope so. The fans were outstanding. How does it feel finally to beat a team? That was the jinx, and it's over now. 
and all we can do is focus on Dundee United at Tannadice Monday week and then focus on Ross County then in the league Stump, my stomach is literally doing somersaults with that performance today it's just so many chances we had we had seven shots on target we had 72% possession we bossed the game I said the only disappointment is the fashion we gave away the goal now we scored a poor goal and then straight from the kickoff they they got a goal they got a goal and that's the only bad thing I could say about today but overall the defence were brilliant the midfield were outstanding O'Reilly played well when he came on you know the whole team were just outstanding I have to give it to him give some there's no bad performances out there so let me know what you think of the game i'm gonna enjoy the rest of the day i will be back about half nine tonight for a podcast so please tune in and get the questions in as well hell hell up the celts